So if you're here, it's probably because you have a FreeSky RXSR receiver and it's not giving you any input in Betaflight, no matter what you do. And you check to see that your receiver is set to SBUS, you check to see that your uh, UARTs are all correct and you've set Serial RX, you've checked everything in Betaflight and this thing just won't give you any input and you don't know why. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly what you're probably doing wrong, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's real simple. With every FreeSky RXSR, you get this cable. Now, what is this cable? This cable is not what you think it is. So, there are a lot of people that are taking this cable and they're thinking, oh, well, there, this, is my, this is my cable. There's my uh, ground, there's my 5 volt, there's my S bus. Wrong. That is not your S bus. Let me show you the diagram. Let's let's you know, let's read the instructions. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's ground five volt S port. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. S port. What is that? Okay, so actually, the pin we need is S bus out. That's what we need. So there are a lot of people getting this, wiring it up with this cable. And it's not working because that's the S port. That's not S bus. What you need to do is you need to either take this cable or you need to take the cable that the secondary cable that they gave you. And basically you can either use this, use this uh, blue wire here. That's the S bus. Or you can move the yellow wire over if you want and, and get, rid of, get rid of the other wires if you're not planning on using the redundancy features in the RXSR. So before we go over that though, what is this cable? This cable is actually an update cable. It's to allow you to update the firmware on the RXSR, which you may or may want to do over the period of time, especially if they add new features. So do you really want to mangle this cable? You, may, you, you might not want to. I've got others, so I actually usually will, will mangle this cable. I, you, get one, you get one with every uh, RXSR purchase. And it is nicely a uh, set where you can just take this wire, uh, use like a little pin or something like that to push up one of these little uh, pins here. You just push up the fourth pin slot and push up this pin, slide it out, slide it in, and then you're ready to go. That's exactly what I did with my uh, Furby Dark Max here. As you can see, I've got the uh, I've got that exact pins lined up in there, and it works great. But if you don't do this, it will not work. So yeah, it's basically a simple case of uh, reading the instructions. I made this mistake too. It's a very easy mistake to make, I think, because we're all so used to uh, seeing, at least for those of, who, those of us who have been uh, using FreeSky's receivers up until this point, we're so used to seeing yellow in our minds and thinking, oh, that's got to be for the S bus. You know, look, look, you get models that are just configured with the yellow and uh, you think of S bus. So naturally, when we see a cable like this, we think, oh, it's got to be S bus, but nope, that's not the case. So I hope this gets your RXSR online. I really, I really love this receiver. This is a, absolutely one of the best receivers from FreeSky yet. Uh, XM Plus was my favorite last year. RXSR is absolutely my favorite this year. It's it's smaller, and you get tel and you get telemetry. Look, look, this is this is XM Plus just last year. Smaller, you get telemetry. It, it's just great. I love it. So I really hope you get it working. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, and I'll try and answer them. And uh, as always, have a great day, guys.